Hello everyone, sorry we're starting a few minutes late. We had some technical uh, difficulties. For some reason we're not able to do uh, live on YouTube. So what we're gonna do is tape it and then put it on um, the YouTube channel. So hopefully everyone who has signed into Facebook can see us. Um, today is my birthday. Uh, my name is Alice Welch and um, years ago I was taking piano lessons and um, my first teacher, she, uh, her mother got sick, so she had to quit. My second teacher uh, decided to join the Air Force. And then my third teacher uh, got married. And so then I just told my mom, I don't want to do it anymore. But as years passed, music has always been my passion. And so uh, Leanna, and I'll, I'm going to let her introduce herself and tell a little bit about herself here um, shortly. Uh, is an excellent teacher, composer, singer, you, you name it, she does it. And so I've been trying for a couple of years to get her to be my teacher uh, in voice and, and piano. And so it finally worked out where she has some students that graduated and um, they were able to... Um, I have a spot. <laughs> she had a spot open, okay? So today is the day that we usually have our lesson. And so to, since today was my birthday, I still wanted to um, come, but I said, you know what? The holidays are coming. Um, this is a season where some people are excited about the holidays, but there's a, a great uh, percentage of people who get a little lonely, who get a little depressed, who have anxiety, who have a little fear. And so why don't we use this time today to just uh, spread a little hope, a little peace, and a little love. Um, so uh, we, the, we do not have rights uh, to any of these songs, but uh, the ones that Leanna has wrote and composed, uh, she's going to uh, say the ones that uh, she has wrote and composed, OK? Uh, but uh, most. The rest of them, we don't have rights to these songs, but you know we're going to sing them, and hopefully, uh, something will give you a little hope, a little joy, a little peace. Uh, some of us, um, I did a little research, and it said an estimated 280 million adults in the U.S. have had one major depressive episode, and so we're just living in times where people are more depressed, uh, they're struggling with incredible stress and isolation. But I tell you, uh, God, uh, God Almighty, He is our refuge. He is our rock. He is our salvation. He is our solution. And so we just want to um, give you a little hope in music-wise and spoken word-wise in regard to that. Okay, so we're going to start. Excellent. I do want to say that we are performing at a church, and all of the songs we are doing are under the CCLI copyright license, which we uh, do you have, so we're good to go on singing these songs. Uh, and for the originals, I give you permission, Alice. You could put them on the internet. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Now revealed in you 
Now we all have probably had a circumstance or a situation where we had to call on that name Jesus. And sometimes we tell people about uh, what a wonderful name he is and, and sometimes we keep it to ourselves or sometimes we maybe feel like people don't need to know that. But I created this poem and it's called Click, Like, and Share. And it's about just spreading the gospel uh, and uh, just letting people know just how good God is. Click, like, and share. Click, like, and share. Help go viral if you care. Click, like, and share. Click, like, and share. Help go viral if you care. Now these words have a familiar ring. For many, popularity and prosperity it brings. What if, just what if, we all clicked, liked, and shared his holy word to encourage others and help those who have not heard about the goodness of the one above, about his grace and unconditional love. What if we lived out loud and let it be seen that Christ Jesus was our everything? What if we tamed our tongue and became aware of what came out of our mouth? What if we lived our life that others would know who we belong to without a shadow of a doubt? What if our faith was so solid and so sound that it embraced others or whoever we were around? What if we loved like never before and reached out to others with an open door? What if our conduct was righteous and pure? What if we became a consistent living example that Christ Jesus is the cure. In Jesus, get outrageous, get contagious. In Jesus, get outrageous, get contagious. <clears throat>
that says that we were put on this earth not to complain, but to shine like stars in the universe. Uh, and I know that sometimes I find myself complaining, uh, and it's something that we can so easily slip it into. So I wrote this song to remind myself that we were made to shine.
life where you just really needed God and he came through and you knew without a shadow of a doubt that it was God. It was nobody else but God. You know, we have our boos, we have our husbands, you have wives, and um, those are good. Uh, but everyone will probably go through something once in their life, at least once in their life, where they know that the only person that got them through it was God. And we often pray to God and we ask for God when things are going wrong or there's a situation or circumstance that we just can't handle anymore. Um, the marriage is, is going crazy. My work is going crazy. My finances are, are going crazy. Everything is just going crazy. And we, we pray to God and we ask God to, because we need him. We need him. But as a believer, everyone should get to the point where you just need him in, in, with anything that you do. Um, when he wakes you up in the morning, I need you. Uh, I'm turning the keys to my car to go to work. I need you. I'm in a good place right now, but I still need you, God. We need you. See, there's never been a time or circumstance where I won't need you. You are God and God alone. And even though you sit high on a heavenly throne, you'll reach down and embrace me and make me feel right at home. There's nothing I can't bring to you that you won't take time to hear. I never have to be afraid of you. I have no fear. I can put my trust in you, and you will always be there. I never have to wonder if you love me or if you care. You've been so patient with me. You've let me know I'm worth the wait. Your tenderness is so kind, and your timing is never too late. You've never reminded me of what I did wrong. Every day, you give me an opportunity to sing a brand new song. See, you've never treated me badly or pretended to be my friend. You said, I am who I said I am. With me, you will win. See, you've endured so much of my mess, but you've never given up. I have a standing invitation to drink from your living cup. You've loved me with no conditions. I am yours and you are mine with no competition. See, I need you to help me to do my part, Lord. I have to daily surrender my soul, my mind, and my heart. I need you daily to help me hear your voice so that I can make the ultimate choice. To hear your will and your plan, help me listen and understand. We need you.
mighty God we serve. <laughs> Absolutely. And Alice, I hope that you have had a very happy birthday today. <laughs> so guys, if you like the concert, leave a comment, tell Alice happy birthday, and uh, yeah, give her a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. Um, one more uh, uh, spoken word. Philippians 4.13, that's one of my favorite scriptures because it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, it doesn't say I can just only do things on Monday or Tuesday or I can only do 30% of the things. Um, but it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13, what does it mean? To me, it means hope, strength, and I'm never alone. I've got a father who sits high and has a powerful throne. The word says, I can do all things through Christ. Thank God, because of him, I can live an abundant life. Philippians 4.13, what does it mean? It means I can get up every day knowing he made a way. His word is always true. He always knows what to do. Through Christ who strengthens me, endless are my possibilities. As far as the eye can see, he always wants the best for me. Philippians 4.13, what does it mean? It means stay strong, take a stand, and hold on to his unchanging hand. He's always there by your side, in front, and got your back. And he will, if you let him, keep you on track. Philippians 4.13, what does it mean? I have to trust him with the unforeseen. I have to give him my everything. I have to ask him, what do you want from me? Bottom line, he's my reality. Philippians 4.13, what does it mean? The scripture itself, it means everything. I love because of the joy it brings. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Praise God, no one has to be left behind. If you stop and choose the greatest love you'll ever find. Yes, no one has to be left behind. If you stop and choose the greatest love you'll ever find. I also want to give you a couple of scriptures. Um, sometimes for those with the holidays this year, it may be a little rough. Uh, maybe you've lost a loved one and this is the first uh, Christmas and New Year that that loved one is not around. Or maybe you're just in a situation where you feel like God doesn't see you or God doesn't hear you. Um, I've been there and um, it takes, it really takes tenacity, it takes perseverance, it just takes taking a stand and says, you know, I'm going to trust and believe that God is going to take care of this, and he will. Um, God has never promised us that we won't go through things, but he did promise in his word that he will never leave us or forsake us. So we have to stay uh, true to his word. We have to be in prayer, but we have to do our part. Uh, we have to uh, just stay accountable to him and trust and believe and don't get so wrapped up in your situation, but get uh, have peace, love, and joy in your solution. Don't get so bogged down with the situation, but rejoice in the solution because the solution will always always make a way. You've got a, a, a young lady, I still want to consider myself young, that has had 65 years worth of experience where God has never forsaken me when I really needed him. So I, I want to give you all a couple scriptures that I rely on. And one of them is Psalms 50, 15. It says, call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. Psalms 27, 14 is one of my, also one of my favorites, but one of my lifeline verses. It says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Sometimes that waiting, it, 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 sometimes it can get to us and we, 
we feel like, God, you're not moving fast enough. And so, you know, you're not moving fast enough, so I'm just going to do what I need to do. Well, how many can uh, admit that, you know, once you do what you need to do, you've even created a bigger mess? So wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Lord, because his timing, his timing, my beloved brothers and sisters, his timing is always right on time. Psalms 34, 17 through 19, it says, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. Just a couple more. Isaiah 43, 2 through 3. When you pass through the water, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I encourage you to uh, get in your word and trust and believe. And again, don't let your situation overwhelm you. Just trust and believe in the solution. Just trust and believe in the solution. I also want you all to read the whole um, book of Psalms 31 and Psalms 91. Psalms 31 and Psalms 91. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you not only for today, but every day that you decide to wake us up and, and give us a brand new opportunity, dear Lord, uh, just to um, get it right. And so, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your patience. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your understanding. And we thank you for your forgiveness. But, Lord, there may be someone um, that's listening that has a particular situation, a particular circumstance that they're going through. Lord, I ask that you just touch their mind and your spirit and, and give them um, the strength to realize that you see them and that you hear them and their help is on the way. That you see them and that you hear them and their help is on the way. Your timing is always right on time. And Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing. If we're still here, if we are still here, then there's a reason and a purpose for our being. And part of that reason and purpose, you should be included in that. And so, Lord, help us. Help us to be constantly reminded that we can't do anything without you, that we need you every second, every hour, every minute, every step of the way that we need you. We need you in good times, we need you in bad times, we need you in rough times, and we need you in times where we don't even, we can't even see uh, what, what's going to happen next. But we need to trust and believe that you have us, that you will never leave us or forsake us. And Lord, give us the strength and the mindset and the positive just forethought to just trust you and believe you and give us the, the discipline to get in your word and to stay in your word, but believe your word and stay true and faithful to your word. So thank you, dear God. I lift up any brother, any sister that's going through anything right now who just feels like um, there's no way, but you are the way, the truth, and the light. And Lord, I ask that you touch their hearts, their spirits, and their mind and remind them that you created them and that you're going to make a way for them. It's in your precious name that we pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. My beloved brother, don't give up. Don't give in. My beloved sister, don't give up. Don't give in. Your help is on the way. Thank you so much for taking the time. You don't know how much I really appreciate this for just taking the time and, and celebrating me, my, bir my birthday with me. Thank you, Leanna, for your talent. Uh, she's just a, a phenomenal 
a woman of Christ and she uses her talent to glorify God and we're going to be doing some other projects and so just uh, uh, keep in touch and so again thank you thank you thank you thank you can't thank you enough for spending my 65th birthday with me thank you so much take care